an historic moment at the Tony Awards Sunday night. Ali Stroker was the first actor in a wheelchair to take home Broadway's most coveted trophy. A Stroker's message, if you live with disabilities, you're not alone. Here at home, the first ever inclusive theater camp kicked off this week. 41 Action News reporter Mackenzie Nelson takes us to the Johnson County Arts and Heritage Center, where kids are living out their dreams of being in show business. She loves to be just a regular kid. Aubrey is just another kid at summer camp. Aubrey is 13 years old and she has congenital muscular dystrophy and she's used a power wheelchair for mobility since she was two years old. Her chair can't hold back her excitement. Aubrey loves to sing and act and she's just so happy to be a part of this camp and this show. Aubrey's just one of 16 kids with a role in Starlight Express. We're using scooters, heelys, roller skates, nothing, wheelchairs, anything that kind of gets moving. So they're all in this together and they're all just doing it. Spinning Tree Theater is hosting the first inclusive camp. I would love to see so many different companies doing this very thing because it is truly the most rewarding thing ever. Before, it was hard for Aubrey to find the right ones. We find some camps that are strictly for kids with disabilities, um, and then there are those camps who don't really offer an experience for kids with disabilities. Variety Children's Charity of Greater Kansas City partnered with the theater to get all kids on stage. I do think the arts is a little bit behind in inclusion, and to see how easy it can be by just including them, just trying. Um, it, it really is important for the families to have your child belong. After a historical Tony Awards, camp is the next step for Aubrey and a reminder for all kids to never draw the curtain on their dreams. We've always tried to instill in her that, you know, you can have the same dreams that anybody else has. You know, just because you have a disability and you use a wheelchair does not mean that you can't dream of being anything and everything you want to be. And I think that was just reaffirming to her. In Johnson County, Mackenzie Nelson, 41 Action News. Gosh, I love the work they're doing. Performances are next week, and you can find ticket information on our website, kshb.com.